Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am the Bigger Card Empress, also known as Made for Love. So if you are in a twin flame soulmate dynamic, you can check out my other channel, Made for Love. Um, a link is in the description box. All right, so um, today, of course, we have three pals as per usual, and we're asking, why is he silent? So each pal has two cards from my emotional intelligence deck. And uh, we're going to find out why your person's silent. So, pal one, you have a rose quartz. Pal two, you have the aura quartz. And pal three, you have the argite. So, rose quartz. The aura quartz. I want the argite. So, do your thing. Pick your pal. And I'm going to be back with your reading. All right, take care. Bye. Okay, power one, if you chose the rose quartz, this is your reading, okay? All right, so you have uncertain. And you have insecurities abound. All right, so your person, I think they're uncertain as to how you feel or where this relationship is going. They just don't feel safe or secure. Um, but that has nothing to do with you. This is their own emotional insecurities from within that's manifesting without. Okay, so let's pull some cards on these and see uh, what other information we can unearth here. What exactly are they uncertain about? All right, they're uncertain about you. You are coming up here as the Empress. What exactly about you? Now, it could be that your person is with a third party because the Empress is a number three card. They could also be uncertain about their finances um, as well. But let's have a look. I think this is related to you, though. Yeah, they're uncertain. You see, they don't think that they can measure up. So it all dovetails back into their own insecurities. So you are coming up as the Empress. You are standing in your power. You are abundant, you're successful, grounded, shining like a light, okay? Um, that's Taurus and Libra energy. And they are coming out in the reverse, okay? Um, as the emperor in reverse, um, Taurus and Aries energy. They just don't think that they can level up to meet you. They just don't think they have it. Let's pull another card. So this is what they're uncertain about. Can they match up to you? And this is why they aren't talking. We have the page of wands in reverse. So no messages coming through, even though this person <clears throat> is overflowing with love for you. We have the ace of cups. Okay. Let's see. Well, okay, we know that they think that they can level up. But let's see if we get specifics here by going into the insecurities about what's this about. All right, so they have got some baggage. Now, it could be baggage from childhood. It could be baggage from the past. <clears throat> or they could have baggage right now. They could be with somebody else. It could be a very burdensome situation where they have a lot of responsibilities that they can't shake off. But I'm getting it's a combination of all of those things. I think it's their childhood baggage um, that they have not rest down or they have not processed. And I also think... It's baggage from relationships, past relationships, and there's also present day baggage that they are not processing. Yeah. Um, your person wants to take action. You have the hang man in reverse. And they want to fight for this connection. We have the have we have the nine of wands here. Because they're in love. We have the Queen of Cups. They're in love. They're in love with you. In my readings, all upright court cards are divine energies. Okay? So they're in love with you. Okay? But they're feeling like out of their depth here. They're feeling out of their depth because of past relationships. Because of past pain. Let's pull some other cards here. I'm going to pull four tarot cards. Mm. 
Let's see if um, there's any other thing that Spirit wants us to know. <clears throat> we have the King of Wands. So it looks like they definitely want to take action. They're feeling very passionate. Um, and the King of Wands, he's a warrior. He's a strategist. So I think they're trying to figure out exactly what's their strategy at this point in time so let's have four cards from here let's see what's the message so basically a person isn't reaching out because they are insecure we have the sun beautiful leo energy again we have the strength card in reverse more leo energy we have the High Priestess, that's Scorpio, um, Pisces, but I also read it as the opposite polarity, which is Virgo and um, Taurus. And we have Two of Swords, okay. So it looks like they're not confused as to what they want to do, okay? They're not. Let's pull some cards here. Right, they're not confused as to what they want to do. It looks like they've made up their mind. They they pretty much know that you're the one. We have the Two of Swords in reverse here. Um, and you make them happy, you know. Um, this is the sun. Um, this is the highest vibration of masculine energy. It's about um, standing in your power. It's about making things happen. Um, it's about just total happiness. Fighting for your happiness being unafraid but for some reason this person isn't standing in their power they know what they have to do they have this deep knowing they've made up their mind subconsciously and consciously so this is subconscious this is a conscious they've made up their mind but for some reason they don't feel like they can stand in their power let's pull some cards and find out why why is the strength card in reverse <clears throat> we have temperance and we have the four horns all right so the strength card is in reverse because this person no longer wants to hold back um, on their emotions okay it looks like they were trying to be strong but i'm also hearing stubborn Right, they were being stubborn, but now they don't want to hold back. They want to come forward and make things right. We have temperance here, and we have the four of wands. So it looks like this person, <clears throat> there's some kind of offer of commitment that they want to make. Okay? They recognize you as a soulmate, as a twin flame. They have this deep knowing. Okay? They have this deep knowing. So let me see what action they plan to take towards you. Oh, this is the three. Oh, okay. I thought this was, I thought this was a two of swords. It's a three of swords. So the, the action that they plan to take towards you um, is the three of swords reverse, which is releasing a third party and healing their heart. Let me pull a card in that. Yeah. You see, they know the truth about everything. So it looks like this person's going to come forward to communicate. Let me see if I get a time in card for you. Did I pack that deck? I think I did. Give me one second. Yeah, I did bring it. It's my um, divine timing card. So let's see. Let's get... <clears throat> I usually take two cards from this deck. So let's see what time... What kind of time frame we're looking at here. Let's get two cards. Okay. We have very soon. <laughs> Not very specific. <laughs> and we have full moon. <clears throat> so it looks like this is happening pretty soon. Okay, because it looks like by the next full moon. So whenever you watch this, the next full moon is when this person is looking to make a move. Let me put a card on that full moon. 
Mm -hmm. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, and then the Two of Swords reversed. So it looks like right now they're overthinking here because that's a negative aspect of Virgo, the neurotic, the overthinker. But they're going to make up their mind to come forward um, next full, by the next full moon, it looks like. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's see. What's the advice for you? Power one. What's the advice? We have serendipity in reverse. I'm getting that maybe you've been missing some sort of signs or synchronicities. Let me see what, what this is all about. It's a card number 18, which is a moon. So maybe there's some shadow work that spirit wants you to do. Let me read what it means. Card number 18. Okay, let's see. The protection message for 18. Let's see what it means. Perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business, or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one, yet it all fell apart. Consider this. Sometimes synchronicity and serendipity can come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There's a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you're meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. So listen, you may have thought that this relationship or connection um, should have come together already. But it looks like Spirit led you on some sort of divine detour. Okay? Where you need to learn a lesson. A lesson that will lead you either back to this person if it's meant to be, or oh, a lesson that will lead you to something better because you would have learned a different, you would have learned something differently from the last time you were at this spot. So it looks like whatever detour you went on is something that you had to go on in order to be ready for whatever is about to come in, whether it's this person or some other relationship. Okay. All right, guys, that was your reading. I hope that it helped you. I thank you guys so much for your likes, shares, dislikes, subscribes, comments. They all help the channel. And if you can go a step further and interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that would be beautiful and energy exchange for me. And you can do that for any reader that you enjoy. Um, it really um, helps them out. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Hey, hey, pal, too. If you chose the aura quartz. This is your reading. All right, let's see what we got. We have enthusiastic. And we have dismissive avoidant. All right, so the question was, why is he silent? Or why is your person silent, whether male or female? Okay, well, why is your person silent? Um, we have enthusiastic. And we have dismissive avoidant, which seems to be quite too quite... Um, divergent or contradictory states of mind. So what I'm getting here is actually the fearful avoidant. Okay, so we have the enthusiastic. This is someone who is all in. They want to be emotionally present for the relationship. Um, they want to make the effort. Um, they are gung-ho. And then we have someone who is dismissive avoidant. Now the dismissive avoidant the closer or the more intimate you get, or the, the closer you get into their emotional space, um, is the more that they would run. Because there's a deep-seated fear of intimacy. From whatever happened in their childhood, they learn to rely on themselves. So the thought of having to rely on someone else subconsciously creates such a deep fear that they, dis they tend to dismiss 
any tender emotions that they may have for their partner. So you guys might go on a date. Things are going well. You feel absolutely connected to this person. And then they may, might ghost you. Or you have a conversation. You talk for three hours. And then for the next three days you don't hear from them. You came too close. You came too close. And so they're just going to lock you off. Okay? Because there's some fear, deep-seated fear here of abandonment. They won't even acknowledge this consciously. They may not even be consciously or even, you know, subconsciously aware of this. This is something that's happening deep in their unconscious mind. Okay? So it is a deep-seated fear of intimacy. Now, so this is a kind of kind of bipolar vibes. And I'm not using the word bipolar in the clinical terms at all. I'm just telling you, this is someone who is conflicted within. These are two divergent energies here. So what they tell me is this person is actually fearful avoidant. So the dismissive avoidant feels like they don't need anybody at all. They will lock you off. But the fearful avoidant now, part of them still wants that intimacy. They're just afraid of being hurt. And that's why they lock off their feelings. So that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting someone. They want this connection with you. But a feeling of being vulnerable, that idea of being vulnerable, that idea of possibly being betrayed, that idea of possibly being hurt, also has them in this quandary. And it creates a stalemate mode. You can't manifest anything with this energy. The energy is too conflicting. Now, if this person is vibrating in this energy and you are their energetic match, you it means that you are also vibrating like this. So in order to change this, you have to change. You have to decide clearly what you want. You have to step into that vibration of courage. Okay? Because courage is where love begins. So both of you looks like both of you are afraid. And because both of you are afraid, you're dismissing this relationship. You're putting it in the back of your mind. Subconsciously or maybe even consciously you're doing this. You might be making up all kinds of excuses. Maybe you think this person's playing games with you or whatever it is that you're telling yourself. But really, it's both of you running away from yourself. Let's get some cards on this. Let's see what they're enthusiastic about. They want to take a leap of faith. Look at here. They want to be that fool for love. They just want to leap, want to fall, be reckless, be courageous. They want to. They want to. They absolutely do. That's Aries energy. But look, we have here King of Swords. Not communicating their feelings. They may actually be dealing with someone else. Who might be quite narcissistic because King of Swords Reverse is my narcissist card. I only have two in this deck. The Sun Reversed and the King of Swords Reverse. That's my narcissism card. So they might be dealing with someone like that. Or they might be in this energy where they don't want to acknowledge the truth of their feelings. So part of them wants to, but the next part of them. So it's 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 a conflicted personality. Yeah. And they're not happy. They're not happy. And they know they have to release either it's a third party or something to come towards you. Because they do love you. And they do feel the psychic connection. Look, two of cups, king of cups. They do. They're very emotional about you. But they're trying to avoid these feelings right now. Because there might be a third party involved. This third party might be uh, pregnant. Or they may think that you are the empress. And they simply cannot match up to you. Look how they came out. They came out as a fool. You are the empress. They're intimidated by this. And what this is going to require. This is going to require emotional availability. Ace of Cups. They want this. They want this. But this is also very scary. It's very scary to come forward 
It's very scary. Because the high priestess is mute. She says nothing. But this person, they want to come forward. But their woundedness from their childhood is what's keeping them back. Let's go into the tower and pull four additional cards. Let's see if we get additional messages there. Underneath the dead, the Knight of Cups in reverse. So no revelation of emotions. Let's see. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the King of Swords reverse. Wow. Aquarius energy. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy. And we have the handman. Which makes sense because, as I said, this person, they're very mixed up in their head. Look, they're not talking, but they want this connection to press forward. So they're just in the stalemate mode here. Piscean energy. Okay, again, very emotional, very emotional. So part of them very emotional, and the next part of them closed off from their feelings. Okay, I think this person does a lot of fantasizing um, about you, and this is how they're living out this relationship. Okay, it's safer to do this in the 5D or the spirit world than to come forward and to ground this connection. That's what I'm getting. Now, they could be with someone else. That's for some of you. They could be with someone else, feeling a bit confused here. Yeah. Okay? Not talking, not expressing their emotions, not being authentic. And this is something that they want to move away from. They want to have the move power to move away from this energy. But they're not sure what to do just yet. Let me pull some cards now. Spirit, why is the Seven of Cups here? Nine of Swords, Confused, Anxiety, Depression. Ten of Wands in Reverse, Feeling Burdened, Duties, Responsibilities that they can't give up right now. But they're trying to make a plan here though. We have the King of Wands. They're trying to make a plan, uh, but they're not ready to communicate just yet. They're still sorting out um, themselves. And this is the energy. They're very conflicted. They love you, they do. Okay, they love you. But they have um, low self-esteem. You can watch Power 1, I think. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's about being codependent, low self-esteem, and being very guarded and defensive. Okay. Let's see the chariot. Yeah, they want to push through this energy, though, and move on. But they're not speaking up. They're not speaking up. They're just here being bored. I am really getting a lot of depression um, from this person. And this is something that they want to walk away from. They're tired of living the ordinary life. They want to walk away from this. But they're in this hangman's energy. Because... Again, Seven of Cups, again, confused. Not sure what to do. Okay, it's very reclusive with the Hermit here. Doing a lot of thinking, a lot of introspection. And they also have some abandonment issues. Um, that's preventing them to step into their full power here. Okay, but it looks like they're going to end um, the self-sabotage that they've been doing. Let me get a timing card for you. When are they going to end the self-sabotage?
and you should get two cards from this deck. All right, so we have 10 days. And we have Vernal Equinox, the 19th to the 22nd of March. All right, so let's see what's going on here. What's this 10 days about, Spirit? Okay, in the next 10 days, it looks like they're going to break up from some... They're either going to walk away from some kind of dysfunctional family members or have some kind of breakup. If they're with someone else, there's going to be some kind of breakup here because they're going to realize that they are not happy. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And what's the spring card? What's that about? Heartbroken. Three of Swords. All right, so it looks like something was revealed in the springtime with you guys, or maybe revealed to your person. Something that was in the dark came to light, and it really broke your person's heart. It looks like something to do with a third party. Let, let's have a look. Oh, my goodness. What is that? One second, guys. Let me try to get this card. Yeah, there was some sort of conflict that happened in the springtime for your person. I mean, it really broke your person's heart. Yeah, and this was the start of their transformation, it looks like. Okay, so they're not talking because this person's going through a massive transformation right now. And it looks like this started in earnest in the springtime um, of, it looks like, of this year. Okay, in the springtime. Okay. So it looks like this person's headed for some kind of breakup or some kind of massive realization that's going to change um, the particular course that they're on right now and really uh, make them transform completely. All right. So what is the advice for you, pal, too? What's the advice? Okay, so we have Unfinished Symphony. All right, so let's see what that's about. Unfinished Symphony. It's a card number 10. So that's the ending of a cycle. Let's see what's going on here. It says, moving on is difficult when love lingers. Oh my god, that's my air freshener, guys. Sorry about that. So it looks like a breath of fresh air is about to enter this relationship. Things are left unsaid, and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in this relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are. Make amends if need be and declare your feelings if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past so you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. So it looks like Spirit is saying, do what you need to do to achieve closure in this relationship. Whatever it is, whether it's just closure within yourself or if you want to contact that person and speak about what happened or whatever it is. But Spirit is saying there's so many things unresolved or left outstanding in this particular relationship. And that old energy needs to be dealt with in order for a new door to open up. Whether for new love or for this person to return to your life. Okay? Alright, my loves. That was your reading. I hope that helped you. Take care. Bye. Hey, pal three, if you chose the Argite, this is your reading. All right, so why is your person silent? They're contemplative. So this is Piscean energy. That's the hangman. And they're also bitter. Oh, wow. All right, so that's heavy energies here. All right, let's see what it's all about. What are they thinking about? So they're thinking about their happiness.
Venus. We have the sun. They're thinking about what it's going to require of them um, to level up or to show up for this connection. They're thinking about if they have children, they're thinking about that too. What is the impact um, this is going to have, their decisions are going to have um, on their children's lives. Um, but they're thinking about being happy. What's going to make them happy? Who is going to be in that space where they are happy? Yeah, because they're thinking of ending some sort of painful cycle in their life. We have the Ten of Swords. They could be with somebody else as well. Yeah, we have a karmic here. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, they could be experiencing some sort of downturn with their finances. But ultimately, they want to take a leap of faith. You guys may be able to watch Pow 2. The Fool came out. So they want to take a leap of faith. Okay, but it looks like there's something or someone holding them back, they think. But the only person holding them back is themselves, really. Let's pull a card on this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What's that about? Yes. It looks like your person is in the middle of a karmic cycle. And this karmic cycle is meant to draw their wounding, their insecurities, their past pain to the fore so that your person can finally make peace and to have closure and to step into this emotional maturity um, of the King of Cups. So it looks like they're still in the midst of that process um, as we speak. This person is bitter. And this concerns... We have the Queen of Swords. It could be you. Okay. It could be you. Okay. You may have cut them off. You may have set a firm boundary. You may have spoken your truth. And drew a line in the sand. They're bitter about that. They feel scorned. I'm also getting a message about a mother energy in their life. And this has affected all their relationships. Whether by her presence or by her absence. This has affected all their love relationships. Let me pull some more cards for you. Yes, this person is grieving and this is deep grief, okay? They feel disconnected from everyone else, but this they have been feeling disconnected for a very long time, okay? I do get that there's a lot of regret and shame attached to how they may have treated you and how they conducted themselves in this relationship. There's a, there's a lot of anxiety, Nine of Swords um, and depression and they want to end this particular cycle. They want to come towards you. So right now they're trying to think of a plan. King of Wands. They're trying to think of a plan um, to fight for you, fight for this relationship. And that's why they're not talking. Let's pull, let's go into the tarot. And pull a couple more cards here. Let's see if we can get some more information. Ace of Cups in reverse. So this person is insecure, um, heavily codependent. Um, and this is also what's holding them back. This, this is what's holding them back. Not anything else that's happening in their life. It's their own insecurities, their own lack of self-love that's, that's holding them back right now. Let's get four cards. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. We have the Magician. So all these are major changes. That's Gemini and uh, Virgo. This is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio um, and Aquarius. We have the Hangman, all major arcana. So there's a big energetic shift 
um, for your person. And we have the King of Pentacles. All right. So what's happening is that your person, this is Taurus energy, um, they want to show up for this connection. And they've been a bit stubborn at the moment, but they want to show up for this connection. They, they want to be in this provider, protector mode. But they know that there is some kind of cycle that they have to close out first. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to do that. That's why they're in this handman's energy. How are they going to close off this cycle? How are they going to manifest this new beginning? <clears throat> okay. So there's a big shift. So they are... This is what they're thinking about. They do plan to do this. It's just the how. The how. Okay. Let's pull some cards. Yeah, I told you they want to fight for this connection. But their codependencies, their insecurities um, is what's keeping them back right now. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. And this is a card of not loving yourself. Let's see the Magician. King of Pentacles again. So they want to show up for this connection. They want to be standing in their power. But they're feeling stuck right now. Because they may be in a, a provider in another situation. Some uh, could be a connection that's there's no passion, there's no love. But they take their responsibilities very seriously. So they're trying to figure out how they can deal with their responsibilities. But yet follow um, their passions. That's what they're trying to figure out. We have the hangman. Yes, you see, they're codependent. We have the devil here. They're codependent. There might be some sort of addiction that they have. Okay, they may have a family. That they might be in a family setup that's very toxic. And they have to make a decision. We have the lovers. Gemini energy. So there's a big decision that they have to make. Because it looks like a lot of people are going to be affected by it all. Right, they are not happy where they're at, but they are a provider. But it looks like they're heading towards some sort of breakup. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse, but right now they're overthinking things. Yeah, they're heartbroken. Three of Swords, they're heartbroken because they're now seeing the truth of who you are. And they're now admitting the truth to themselves. And that's why they also feel bitter. Because they felt like when they should have made their move with regard to you, they went in a different direction. So let's find out when is this person going to come forward to speak their truth. We have fall. Which is what we're heading into. And we have monsoon season, which is June to September. So we're getting, it looks like, we're in, we're in August now. So anytime between now and September, or the fall season is what we're looking at. Let's see this, this fall card. It's going to happen in the fall. They're going to stop sabotaging themselves. Yeah. They're going to stop being confused. And it looks like they're coming forward with some sort of commitment. Because they would have learned a very important spiritual lesson. Yeah, because they received some kind of karma here. We have justice in reverse. Let's see this monsoon season card. Yes, go and have some kind of aha moment that you're the one. And this is when they're going to be coming forward. So anytime between... Okay, so for those of you that won't be watching this, will be watching this um, sometime from now, um, still going to get begin that fall thing or within two to three months' time. 
That's the, that's the timing I'm getting. So you're looking at fall or two to three months from when you watch this reading. Okay. All right. So let's see what's the advice for you. What is the advice? message in a bottle so you're definitely receiving communication let's have a look it's a card number 15 so that's a devil card but it's also a card number six which is a lover so a person they've been faced with a choice message in a bottle okay you can expect someone to favor you with positive news this could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. So this person's coming in to speak. You're going to get communication from this person. And whatever happens, um, it's going to be for your highest good. Okay? Whatever they say, it will be for your highest good. All right? All right, pal, three, that was your reading. I hope that helped you. I'm grateful for your likes, shares, subscribes, dislikes, comments. They all help the channel. And if you can go a step further and interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that's beautiful energy exchange for me. And you can do that for any reader um, that you enjoy. Okay? All right, guys. Take care. Bye.